project today. It is an outdoor chandelier using this very inexpensive hula hoop. Um, I make these for my July 4th yard hanging from a big oak tree. And so that's what we're gonna show you today. We're gonna show you how to make one of your own. So let's get started. I, if you watched my other video with the red, white, and blue patriotic wreath, you'll know that I use indoor outdoor ribbon for anything I'm gonna put outside. And so that's what this is. Again, this is about the two inch, two inch, I'm sorry, two and three fourths inch, 50 yard in and out your red, white, and blue ribbon. It wasn't a lot of money, but I, I just love anything red, white, and blue. And this was just simple. It wasn't too fancy and too plain. It just kind of says American. So that's, that's why I went with it. Also, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I go into detail about how to make bows. So that's what we're gonna start off with first. Let me make this first one. And <clears throat> so yeah, I showed, sorry, the allergies are really getting me today. So I showed on my DIY video um, for the patriotic wreath, I showed how to make a bow. I'll do, I'll make one here in just a second. Uh, I make them very fast, so no worries there if you're not that fast. This is just years and years of experience. So I'm going to just show you one more time how to do a bow, quick bow. I'm going to cinch in my right hand. This is my dominant hand. I'm gonna make a loop. Oh, uh, I don't know, that's maybe four or five inches. And let me go this way. And then I'm gonna come back up, bring it straight back up, make another loop. And see how my ribbon is already kind of making a loop? I'm just gonna gather it like that. I'm gonna put it where it wants to go. And then I'm gonna make another loop. So if you can just somehow, in one hand, gather all these loops together, and it looks something like this, you're making progress. So then, I'll just drop some of that ribbon down and bring it back up, and then I'll cut off the excess. Now, in this part, if I was gonna make a wreath, I would wire it off. Oh, did you see how I switched hands, by the way? So that's an important step for me in bow making. I switched hands because I need this hand to take that ribbon around there and get it real tight. And I'm gonna use a smaller ribbon, okay? And I'm gonna go around here, go around here, flip it around, do a little knot, and voila, see? That easy. Okay, so again, if you want to kind of know a little bit deeper into how, if you want to learn how to make these bows, go back to some of my other tutorials. I go into depth about this, but I wanted this video to kind of be quick today because this project is quick. It's quick and it's cheap. So I'm gonna put two sides and I'm gonna attach one of the bows here and one of the bows here, just like that. Now the secret, one secret to this is, go ahead and wrap around twice. So I've wrapped it around once. I'm going to find where that center is and wrap around again before I knot that bow. And I'm gonna tie it tight. And all that does for these main bows is secure it. Secure it really good, because I don't want a hot glue. I want this project to be fast and quick and easy and fun. So look how that's kicking up, isn't that cute? Okay, so now on the opposite side, again, I'm gonna wrap it around. I'll go slow this time. I'm gonna come back around through all those streamers and come back up and tie that in a knot. So basically going around twice with my tied ribbon, right? That just gives it an extra little secure, uh, security to the hoop so that I'm not hot gluing. I don't wanna hot glue anything today. Okay, but we are. Okay, so that's our first step. Our next step is to go ahead and the length of your arm, which they say is 36 inches, I don't know if that's accurate, I'm going to double that. So here's one, two, cut. Okay, now this is the next part. This is kind of tricky. So I'm going to basically make a loop. So in, in the middle part, the halfway part of that ribbon, I'm gonna lay here, I'm gonna make a loop. I'm gonna reach in there and grab those two streamers and pull, okay? Let's do another one. Now this is a really fun and easy project and I use indoor outdoor ribbon, which is the important part. So again, here's my loop. Put it up against there. And this looks hard because 
I'm trying to video and do this and show y'all at the same time. When you're laying it across the table, it goes like fast. So there we go. Um, I have made, I don't know, about three of these so far, so I'm really low on ribbon and I'm so sorry, but I'm not gonna go out and get some more, so I'm gonna have to kind of improvise with some regular satin ribbon, which is fine, but if you use indoor outdoor ribbon, you'll be fine. So again, I make that loop, I pull those through, and cinch. Now, I will tell you, if you don't place your loop on the outside, it's gonna, it, it won't look as clean as if we went from the inside. So here, my, I could do it either way. I can have my loop inside and pull those ribbons through, but I find it's just a prettier, cleaner look when I have that loop on the outside. Okay, and what's fun about these, they, they move around. So I can go, oh, got that much done. So kind of keep going around and around. Um, this indoor outdoor ribbon, and there, I almost did it. So loop in front, pull those three. If I have, but pull those three. I have another video where I do the same technique with making chandeliers out of plastic tablecloths, which I absolutely love to do, those backdrops. Um, and if you, if you are interested in that, watch that. That's one of my earlier videos when I didn't have all these fancy lights and table and yada, yada, yada. But still, it's learning and it's crafting and that's, that's what's important, right? So I'm gonna just kind of come around, loop, and then pull that through. And so this is indoor outdoor ribbon that I don't know if you can get at the regular, um, at the regular craft stores. I get mine at a place called Travis. If you DM me or send me a message, I will certainly send you their information. I know they ship. So this indoor outdoor ribbon is 100% waterproof, waterproof polyproline. Polyproline, I don't know if y'all can get up to that and see that. Basically it's kind of got, it feels almost plastic, but it's not. Um, Anyway, I just prefer it for anything going outdoors and I don't have to worry about it, right? Fading. Um, actually, I have a bunch of chandeliers I did and they were outside and they did perfectly fine. So again, these can hang from your tree. You can do some for Halloween. Oh my gosh, how cute would that be with the black and orange and white? Oh, it's just endless. I love anything that hangs from the tree and that's cheap. So we're gonna make that. And then keep going around and round. Okay, now I'm gonna just come in with my red. There's no um, rhyme or reason to this. I just wanna make sure if I'm gonna do one color, I do a different color next to it. So just like that. I was telling you that I have done, let's see, like two of, I'm sorry, three of these. So I'm kind of lo running low on ribbon. And so I'm gonna come in with, um, some regular satin. This is regular satin, about one and a half inch. I actually kind of like the dark blue. I don't worry too much about mixing my blues ever. So you'll hear me say that if you watch my videos. I never worry about mixing blues. I think blues are one of those colors that complement each other, whether it be turquoise, navy, dark, whatever. Um, but because I'm out of the blue, indoor outdoor I am going to substitute today for this video the satin okay so here we go same thing though the satin is a little thicker so I don't know we're going to be doing this together I don't know how it's going to do um and it does brilliant go figure I wonder where you can get maybe Amazon has this ribbon I need to create an Amazon store so I can put all this just step on here. <clears throat> it's just so easy for people nowadays to go on Amazon, right? And just keep filling it in. And just like that. I feel like I need, I'm almost at red too. I mean, that might've been it right there. Woo! I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. We might not see this one finished, but what we will do is you can learn how to make it. So let's just do this one side, just because it's important for me that you 
see these next steps. Okay. Okay, let's see. I am kind of a messy crafter. I think everybody is, right? I can't believe I ran out of bread too. And just keep going all the way around. I'll tell you that the satin does not want to stay in place. So that might be the negative to using satin. You might have to just knot it old fashioned in an old fashioned way. And I have the indoor outdoor ribbon. Go figure, a florist would have all the ribbon in the world. So I'm gonna just go around and keep doing this and you'll just follow along. We'll speed through a little bit and get us to that point where I can show you the next step. So on to the next thing. Um, let's clean that off. Okay, so because we have um, some of this here, I wanna add some of my fancy ribbon, my fancy ribbon to this, all this section right here. Not a lot. Now this I will hot glue because I don't wanna waste any of it. And so I will just cut one strip, the length of the chandelier, add a little dab of hot glue across there and facing out. Voila, just like that, okay? So this is that baby that's acting up and that is okay, because in the big scheme of things, it's not gonna matter. Okay, so there we go. And maybe in the middle on each side. So we have one in the middle and then I'll do one on each side. Look, you can go crazy with these. You can add tool. How fun would some maybe like glitter tool be? But I always try to mix my ribbons. So um, I would do, I love the polka dots and the stripes. You can add even more stripes, more polka dots. Okay. And then I love this so much, I'm gonna add a couple pieces of this. It's my favorite ribbon, it's so cheap. And it's gone, how many yards is on that? 60, 50 yards, it seems like it's so much more than that. I've used it for everything and it just will never go away. Which is okay. Um, keep adding as much as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next step, which is how to secure it, how to hang it. And again, super, super, super easy. So get your fishing line and get your fishing line. And if you're married to a fisherman like me, fishing line is, um, everywhere around this house. So just cut, don't even think about it, just cut a big piece. And remember our first two bows right here and here? I am going to, you know where the bow is and the streamers? Open those streamers up and come from the center of this bow. So you're not grabbing any of the streamer ribbon. And come around there. And if you go around twice, one, two and then go through the rabbit hole, that's gonna give you a secure knot. So I'm gonna go around twice, one, two, and then go through the rabbit hole. I don't know if that's a Boy Scout trip, it's a special kind of knot. Um, and then I'm just gonna do some regular knots on top. So there we go. Sorry if I look like I'm sweating. I just got a, so many lights in this place. Okay. and. So I know that I'm going to do two cross pieces, so I don't need too much of um, the wire coming up. So maybe about like that, and then secure it on this side, go around twice, and then through the rabbit hole, or I don't know what that's called. Um, so, and then knot it. Okay, stay tuned, because I'm going to show you this next part. Okay, because I know at this point you're like, oh, I've got it, I've got it. Give me started. Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? So now we've got to come opposite, okay? So cut a long piece and try to find the middle of these two bows, which seems to be right here, exactly where I put that fancy ribbon. And just, again, tie that knot like that. Okay. Tie that knot. Okay, now 
this is the part I want you to watch. So I'm going to pick this up and I make sure it's even. It's hanging even to me. And that's when I'll grab that other um, fishing line, right? So see how it hangs like a chandelier. If I didn't have this even, it would do that, right? I'm not going to tie this together. I'm just going to tie them to the, um, sorry, to the, the hula hoop. Oh. And so now what I would do, I would, I would hang this from the trees. And just like that, from these two, this meeting point here. And let me see if I can get this going for y'all. Okay, so here it is. Um, you can keep adding all you want, but remember if it gets too heavy, then you lose control of it. Right now it's really light. I mean, so light. Hang these from the trees like this. It was very inexpensive. You won't use more than one bolt of each color, I promise. Um, and there you go. So please subscribe and like my channel. When you subscribe, you get notified when the next video comes out. And I have two coming out in the next week or so, and they are fabulous. So you'll want to not miss out on those. Anyway, happy July 4th, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.